Paul Vaughn, who was arrested in front of his many children, joins us now. He's joined by his attorney, Peter Breen, who's a senior counsel and VP at the Thomas More Society. Thank you both very much. Paul, first to you. Um, I, I have to wonder, what did your children think of this? Well, Ducker, they, uh, you know, there's various thoughts and uh, processing going on as they're uh, dealing with this and trying to uh, work through what happened. Uh, fortunately, as a Christian family, we do a lot of studying about historic Christianity and missionaries in the past and persecution that has happened in the church. So they're familiar with stories. They know their people have been martyred throughout history. They know they've been persecuted and, and picked on by bully tyrants uh, just in other parts of history, just like they are being in America today. But you're not allowed to unleash the FBI on an entire religion, are you? Absolutely not, and, and don't think because they've been trained that makes it okay. When, when, I, when my kids go out to the car to go to school and the FBI pulls up armed, running to the door, and one of them goes to the kids and holds the kids with a long gun aside of my driveway and does not let them go into the house, that is absolutely, as my wife said in the video, unacceptable. And so there needs gonna, to be accountability. Well, it's, it's one of the most shocking things I think I've ever seen. I, I have to ask you, so the FBI, the Department of Justice, I can barely say that phrase with a straight face, is claiming that you're a, a, a violent extremist who is a physical threat to others. Do you embrace violence? Have you ever committed violence? What are they talking about? No, I have no idea. Uh, yeah. There's absolutely no evidence of that. Other, the only place that is ever even seen is in the documents that they made up and uh, used to justify in their mind and through the uh, justice system, the uh, ones that signed off on this needed some yep. kind of justification in their own minds to, uh, to go after peaceful people yep. that disagreed with them politically. Ma Ma Peter Breen, thank you uh, for working on this case, for defending Paul Vaughn. Um, do, do you think that this is actually going to go to trial? Well, uh, Tucker, when you've got a federal prosecutor after you, I mean, we always have to plan for that. You know, Paul wasn't even arrested by the local police for trespassing. Uh, and, but those who did, uh, who, who were uh, arrested, uh, were leaning on the tradition of Dr. Martin Luther King. He himself was inspired by Mahatma Gandhi. I mean, this is the great tradition of American civil disobedience. Yeah. And it's not the sort of thing that you turn into a 10-year felony. Uh, Paul himself, uh, we believe we have very strong defenses and hope to, to hope to beat these charges at trial. And I hope you do so with a country that rises up on your side, because this is, he wasn't even arrested for trespassing at the scene, and over a year later, they send the FBI to his house in front of his children. It's really just beyond. I appreciate both of you coming on tonight. Thank you so much. Thank you, Tucker. Subscribe to the Fox News YouTube channel to catch our nightly opens, stories that are changing the world and changing your life. I'm Tucker Carlson tonight.